As you can see, it's uh, basically in the middle of the night. It's uh, Saturday morning at 2.39 a.m. And Dawn has been um, keeping a really close eye on Sapphire since she came home. And uh, the 12-volt battery issue is back. So he's taking some measures to make sure that the 12-volt battery doesn't completely discharge so that we can't get back into the car again. Um... It's already down, I think he said, to 10 volts. You know, because the 12 volt gets charged from the big battery. And uh, once the 12 volt battery issue happens, then uh, it stops charging the 12 volt. I think I So Don's hooked up a battery charger to the 12 volt. So uh, it should... Um, keep it from going completely dead and therefore locking us out of the car again because you don't want us to be locked out of the car again <laughs> we will be we're not happy but we'll be really not happy if we can't get back into the car so at we all. slept in had a, a really nice sleep in and yeah. now uh, we're getting ready to go get the paper yeah um so my charger has a variable rate and i put it on four amps and uh, that wasn't enough to charge the battery uh, the battery was still low uh, so I put it up to 8 amps and it seems to actually be uh, increasing the battery voltage now. So uh, it, the car was clicking when I came out. Uh, I, have, I don't have my phone, I don't have my keypad, nothing. It was just sitting here clicking. It wasn't the contactor, it was just more like a little, uh, something much smaller. It's just like a little thump, thump, thump. But it wasn't, a, or uh, it sounded like, it was just a, a slight click. It wasn't the contactor and it was definitely up here not near the something near the not front back in the back huh so you said the battery got down to four yeah four. Uh, like five five point three volts or something like that yeah so it was at 10 when we went to bed or something and then yeah well i should have i should have um uh, i should have came and checked checked it before i went to bed uh yeah now it's up to seven volts now 7.65 um it's, it's coming up. Hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. Well, other than the sapphire issue, it's yeah. a really pretty morning. Yeah, I'm a little bummed. Um, well, not not little, but I'm bummed. Um, but it's pretty out here. It it's, uh, I guess, upper 50s, low 60s. Yeah. They got a lot of color. The sun's out. It's not breezy, not too breezy. Yeah. Carolina blue skies. Yeah, Tux went across the upper parking pad like a rocket. He was so frisky with this pretty temperatures. <laughs> Ruby is all charged up and ready for a day of adventure. Don and I called Tesla and we talked to Raleigh Service and they are going to hook up a tow for Sapphire back up to the service center. And, uh, you know, there's lots of stuff going on in mine and Don's head and foremost right now is just let Tesla get the car back and take a look at it. Um, you know, obviously, um, it's a real bummer that this is the third time and that we've been without the car quite a few um, days since we got the car. But um, we're going to give Tesla a chance to take a look at it again and um, try to do the right thing and stay calm. And um, we are bummed, but we're going to keep the best frame of mind that we can because that's who we are and that's the way we want to be. Um, Johnny and I are headed over to the garden hut. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mom. They are having their holiday open house. They always do such a fabulous job decorating over there. And they have food today. So Johnny and I didn't have breakfast so we can get a, at least a snack over there. Walk around. Usually I find a Christmas ornament or a plant or something. I take pictures. So that should be fun. Um, and then, of course, this afternoon we have Pokemon Go Community Day from 2 to 5. Excuse me. It's not Community Day. It's just a special raid day uh, for Gengar. You get five free raid passes and a chance at a shiny Gengar. And Johnny and I can are going to catch up with the Fuquay raid group. And normally in about 90 minutes, we can use up the five passes. We have a set route. We go through town. Uh, we're going to start at South Park, then go to Emmanuel Holiness, then Fellowship Bible, then Anne's Diamond Mine, then Stick Boy, then the library, then Explore Church, and then um, 
Lighthouse and The Two Gems by Aviator. But Johnny and I won't do all of those. But we, we keep in the same route. And that way if people join late, it's not too hard for them to find the raid group. I think our admins and our local um, coordinators, they do a really great job of making it fun for everybody. So we're looking forward to that. It's gorgeous out there. Um, it's going to be a really pretty day to be outside. So we knew they had some good food today, including homemade chicken salad sandwiches. So they have a table set up out here in the greenhouse area for folks to come and sit and enjoy the uh, the food. Yep. Hey. There's Johnny's friend. She's trying to clean up. She's trying to keep make sure the floor stays clean. A very important job she has today. Yes. So this is really great repurposing here of uh, barrels. Yep, that's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> I always really enjoy looking at the fairy garden stuff. Wonder who lives there. Bet they're friendly. What a great idea here, repurposing an old door. Wow, look at this cute train. Near and dear to Johnny's heart. He loves trains, especially at Christmas. Like I said, they do just a fabulous job decorating the store for the holidays. It's so much, so, so much fun, so nice in here, so warm. It's a real feast for the eyes. As a photographer, everywhere I look, I see really interesting things I want to take pictures of. The ambient light makes it a little tricky, but so worth it. Hey buddy, are you having a good time? They always have some great mermaid things, which of course Michelle loves, so I have to look for her. This is kind of the um, see things corner, seashells and mermaids and all kind of cool ocean stuff. Johnny's favorite thing at the store. Hey baby. This is the dog and cat tree. I love it. Some of them have um, slinkies for stomachs. <laughs> it's really hey, cute. Bae. Oh yeah, there's a picture of Bebe. Call. <clears throat> beautiful fall color and lots of people for the Gengar So we had all kinds of trouble with Johnny's phone but Kelly put him on her Verizon account and Johnny's first one is a shiny although you probably can't see it. <laughs> this is why Johnny likes the uh, raids. He loves playing with the little kids. <laughs> Oh, Starbucks has their new holiday cups out. Johnny, what did you have? You have cream brulee? Caramel brulee. Caramel brulee, and I have a pumpkin spice. It's off the menu, but they still had some mix. The um, hot cups look like uh, peppermint candies with red and green stripes this I year. I still don't have a shiny. One more chance down at the Presbyterian Church, then we're headed back to the hey house. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> you should have seen her face lit up when I opened up the wings. She hadn't seen them before. <laughs> It actually stays clean pretty easy. We just don't eat, you know, Cheetos and pasta. I mean, yeah. All right, my picture of the day today is a scarecrow. Last stop of the day, it's starting to cool down a little bit. Oh, wait, Folks not getting out of the car, but still partying. 
<laughs> right? We're still having a good party. I really wish I'd gotten a picture of all of them, but all the kids hopped in the back of the car and were watching me play centipede. Some of them so young they'd never even seen centipede before. And the adults that knew centipede, wow, they were impressed that it was up on the screen. But it was so much fun. Even though I've been going all day, I'm working pretty hard to uh, put away Halloween and get out Thanksgiving. Hi. Hello. Midnight. Hi, sweetheart. He's a good help. All right, everything in the kitchen is packed up and it's ready to be decorated tomorrow. But for today, I am wore out. Thank you.